Yo, what's up? It's Dagon Sign here bringing some more Guilty Gear Strive content. Today, we're going to be talking about Milia. So, we're going to be talking about the balance update and exactly what changed with this character. So, we're going to be talking about the good and the weird things that happened because there are some situations that have changed for this character now due to some property changes that will definitely come up that you should be aware of. So, let's start talking about Milia inside of the new patch. So, it's always within these balance changes, there's always some changes that you just notice right away. And the main ones that feel for sure is definitely going to be this close last change. So, they were talking about a new property on it and the new property is it actually sort of launches the opponent up in the air slightly as you can see here so this actually is going to be beneficial but also going to be something of that weird thing we were talking about earlier so the beneficial thing obviously we know we have more momentum on our combo now so now you don't have to do the micro dash and it just seemingly works on everyone so you can do whatever you want now you could go for the max damage and break the wall you can go for the uh, setup I like to go for like this so you get one more opportunity, something like that. Or you can go for the wall slump setup if you so fancy. Uh, there's a wall slump setup you could try to go for as well. So there, there's a couple of things you could do at this time uh, now because it's universal and it works on every character, uh, every weight class. So that's very good. However, the thing that you now need to be worried about is we have sort of a soul bad guy problem on our hands. So soul naturally picks the character up. And if you want to get the far slash after his close slash, you have to delay the button. So what happens here is we actually launch the opponent up much higher on counter hit. So if you try to do, say, like a 2S, you'll launch them up in the air completely. So then you'll have things like this happen. So say if you were just trying to do the basic affirm like this and like going to super, this will no longer work on counter hit. Same thing if you try to do this. This would no longer work this doesn't work anymore because of them actually being put in the air so what you have to do is you actually have to delay everything you're doing in order to make sure that it hits now so if you get a counter hit you have to delay in order to get these type of confirms now you can still do the other confirm we were talking about which is your go-to however once again you have to delay this as well or you will get it to where it drops i don't know why it drops when they are higher you would think it will work but it actually does drop you have to delay it if you delay it just right then you will get this the combo like it was before and you will have no problems with that so make sure you put a slight delay in it and it will work it is a little bit tricky uh this is one of the like harder interesting things that i've been like trying to figure out exactly how to make it a little bit more consistent but it is something that you can still do um As you can see, it still can work. Like I said, it's just a little bit more trickier. So just work on the timing of that to get that down. And you should have no problems confirming that on the counter hit as well. Another great change for Milia is going to be the way they actually change Capel. So Capel can actually now be combo off of, which is a huge change. Because a lot of the time when people are trying to anti-air Milia, they will just continue to try to do that option because they know the risk rewards in their favor you know if you did this you sent them like sort of the opposite direction and then you got like five percent of their life like you really didn't get much off of them but if they counter hit you you know you die so it's now a better situation for milia because we actually get a combo of this now and we can actually you know go for something which is good this is huge opportunity for milia we could press our advantage you could go for like certain setups and stuff to like do for resets and stuff it's all different types of things now you can do uh js at certain heights uh, JK seems to be the, the more reliable of the two just because of uh, it's a little bit better as far as like height restriction. There's less height restriction on it. So JK is something you could do and JS. Just know the difference of the height disparities between which you could use the two and you should be okay. Now this next thing is going to be showcasing two new things and they're basically both universal just because the 2K thing with the knockback is universal for like mostly every character. And we're going to be showcasing the counter hit thing and why it's so strong for Milia. So her 2P is now a four framer. This is very, very good. Uh, four frame button for Milia is something that we could definitely utilize. But with the counter hit slowdown now, we actually get more opportunities to use this button than ever. So say an example like this. As you can see, we can actually get 2P into a 2K 2D where this normally wouldn't hit because of the knockback from the 2K. This is now something that we could actually get. The 2D usually would like be or the, it would be a little bit like wonky or it sort of hit this. But now it's a lot more consistent to hit something from far away with 2K. It was very rare that it happens to Milia, but it was a case where it did happen. Now this is something that is not going to be the case anymore. And now we could get full knockdowns from counter hit 2B. So if you're going to be mashing from something, uh, 2K is not a bad bet just because of you can utilize that counter hit now. This brings me to my next Milia point, which is the Close Slash buff, which was also like a universal buff for a lot of characters. So Close Slash seemingly now is about plus one for every character in the game. Just to showcase this, so I have Milia doing her 2P, which we now know is four frames. 
if I do close slash and 2p her back, you can see I actually win this exchange, as you can see. So she's on the counter hit setting, so she's doing it as uh, fast as possible. But now with the close slash being plus one, we can actually beat this if we time it right, and we can actually get the 2p, 2k, 2d thing that we were just talking about before. So this opens up new block strings and new possibilities for things we could do, not only with the 2p, but also with the reduced recovery of the capo as well. So you can see block strings like this actually being things that are plus so you can actually do 6h in the capital and press 2p and this is going to be a plus situation i believe this is also like plus one as well so it just adds on to the amount of block strings that milia can do so the next two changes for milia you will definitely notice is going to be one the jd change this is going to be the launch that happens now so this was something that happened for in the beta now the only problem with this is it's really hard to use this move one because typically when you use it in some of your block strings it becomes like a natural uh just true block string and it's just because of the like sort of height sort of thing it has has like a height restriction you can't really do it as far as like a real mix up it's, it's sort of really easy to like fuzzy time this thing i can't really find a way to like make it into like a real mix up the only things i see that you can probably try to use it for for sure is uh going behind your opponent like this so this is something they do have to worry about if you do stuff like this uh you could try to use it like this because of the uh turnaround so the uh, turnaround is something that happens. They talked about like turn the turnaround uh, before inside of the uh, patch note. So this is something that's uh, making a little bit of a play here as well. Uh, you could also try to use the new capital uh, like this and like sort of pop the other direction and then pick up from like that. So you can mess around with it, try to get the overhead and then sort of use the momentum of that to basically hop over to the other uh, side get the projectile to hit on the other side and then sort of combo if they block that then you still get access to an actual low because the js will whiff into another low so they have to worry about crossing back up into another low it gets a little bit crazy so you can't mess around with that but as far as the actual jd hitting that one's a little bit tricky to actually get of course the next thing you'll definitely notice is the opportunities we get off bad moon in the mid screen position so now because of the pop-up we actually are able to set up a meaty on the opponent so you can see that i have him on pressing his 5p right now so if we try to hit him uh we can actually get a meaty on this character now so this is something we could do and this is just for everybody even on milia's uh two frame or four frame 2p we can still meaty her with a uh, 5k or far slash so this is something that's gonna be very good now another good situation because of the far slash buff is going to be something that it was difficult before which was getting something off of meaty uh not meaty this but a space this so a space this you know would knock the opponent back and it was very hard for her to try to get like at least a meaty button on the opponent but now with the far slash buff this is something we could do a lot easier than before just like that so because of the far slash buff we can actually get over there in time and place our far slash on the opponent so they can't press anything while we're trying to approach we may not get much off of it but a close slash or a far slash uh counter hit can be something that you can get something off of you can uh, at least get at least a uh, hair car into a knockdown off of it and you know start from there now and it's really important and probably not the most obvious thing to notice is the increased speed of her age this so this is going to be very crucial for her because it's going to allow her to actually get cross-up opportunities that weren't there before so take this example right here where Amelia is actually really far away. This actually crosses up now. I'm holding back and it's actually crossing up. So before, because the disc wasn't as fast, this wasn't going to be a cross up uh, opportunity. You didn't recover as fast. so You couldn't cross up in time during this. But because of the recovery on the disc now, you actually recover faster and are able to cross up a little bit faster than you were before so before this was auto guard now the auto guard is less of a thing that's going to happen so you're going to get more opportunities to actually get the full on aspect of the cross up from very far away so taking even example from like say this far this will consider a cross up now so once again got her doing this and that is a cross up i'm holding back and it now crosses up so those mac distances that we had to deal with before are no longer going to be auto guard cross ups we have to worry about and last thing don't worry about the increased recovery on milia's throw because of the reduced speed on the disc itself and of course the increase of the startups to dps we actually can save jump even the sdps that we weren't able before except leo's his still broke i don't know why and that's pretty much the basis of how these new changes are going to be affecting your gameplay with milia i like i said before i do think she definitely got buff 
these are definitely going to be some interesting changes for the character and it's definitely going to make her a much stronger character than she was before it's just a few things that are a little bit weird like i was talking about with the counter hit and the new close slash property that we have to get used to that are just going to make things a little bit more interesting as far as like how you confirm your counter hits and stuff like that but besides that overall she's definitely feeling like a much stronger character so these are my day one impressions as always you like anything i had to say drop me a like a girl appreciate it and if you want more from me only my socials also don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications then your next video goes live as always my name is daikin and i'll see you next time signing out